70% of the state's population lives in this part of Alaska, and it uses 80% of the state's electricity. Fire Island is already producing over a capacity that they thought they'd be able to produce. So it, it's displacing more natural gas than would be used in 4,000 homes over the course of a year. So that's a significant carbon footprint that's being displaced through the use of wind right here off the coast of Anchorage. Fire Island Wind and Upwind have worked together to successfully complete the first phase. Well, Fire Island is a, it's a remote wind farm. It's only accessible by airplane or by boat. The site is approximately four miles off the coast of Anchorage. The Upwind Solutions technicians maintaining the site live in Anchorage and uh, often will fly over daily or, or spend the night on the island. There's six months of the year that we may not be able to get a boat to the island, so planning ahead is crucial for this site. We're hopeful that we'll be able to plan maintenance in the summertime when our revenues are the lowest so that the project is in top operating condition in the winter time. Winter can be challenging on wind turbines, especially gearbox oil uh, and hydraulic oil. Asset One will help Upwind and Fire Island optimize the production from the project because it'll help us be able to plan our maintenances on a schedule that makes sense for the project. Upwind Sentinel is a vibration-based condition monitoring system. We use seven MEMS accelerometers, one on the main bearing, three on the gearbox, and two on the generator. That data is collected through our data collection unit placed in the top box. The data collected by Upwind Sentinel is processed and made available to the operator through a graphic user interface. That GUI allows an owner or an operator to make proactive decisions based on the health of their equipment. We hope that Asset One will enable us to identify problems before they become major maintenance issues. So in some sense, we hope that Asset One will prevent catastrophic failures of certain turbine components. We have over 300,000 people here in the city of Anchorage and a lot of people now are seeing those turbines spin right off the coast. It is sparking a conversation about why renewable energy is important and where we're going to get our future energy. Siri would like to work with Upwind to develop phase two of Fire Island and build on the success that we've already achieved with the first phase. So the next phase of Fire Island would probably be a doubling of the project size and we hope to do that in the next year or so.